Hello possums, Draymer Smith here, back at base and it's almost night but we've got time to do this. Going to be a little bit of a slower episode today, a little bit of a change of pace after all that busy busy ship building but before we do we're trying again. I landed wrongly in the middle of the wheat field and took out a tilled block so maybe this will finish the hoe? No, we have to be so close. I'll keep trying. Enough with the agricultural whimsy. I have actually decided, finally, what I'm going to do for lighting along the road. So that's what we're going to do today. Now I do need to make some more end rods because 15 is not going to be enough. So I've got my popped chorus fruit and my blaze rods. And that's made way more end rods than I need. But that's okay. Now. Okay, so we're heading down to the tourist area first because we've got two slightly different styles. One for the road here, and one just to light that area. It doesn't need much lighting because a lot of it's bottom half slabs. But for the sake of the look of the thing, it should have it. So here we are in our little tourist area. And the lanterns I'm going to put in here are basically these ones that are on the bridge. You know, keep it all consistent. So, stone bricks a, um, what's that, a cobble wall, a sea lantern, and on the top, a smooth stone slab. So I'll dot those around here, and then we'll do the next bit. And there's our, ooh, that's not finished, that's better. <laughs> There's our lights for our little tourist area all done. I don't think they look too bad. I'm still tossing up about maybe putting a fountain or something in this space. Or maybe seating or something. I don't know. For the moment it can stay as it is. But if we come round here. Now... This is where we leave the tourist area and get onto the main road. And the lights for here are a little different. I'm not doing one either side all the way up. I think I might just do one side and then see where I want to put them on the way back. The idea isn't to have this perfectly lit. It's just for it to be lit enough. If things spawn, things spawn but it'll just look a bit more like a usable road. So we've got cobble wall, end rod, another end rod, a sea lantern and a slab on top. So we'll have a look at that. I don't think that's too bad. Yeah, I'm not going to put that one there for the moment. So let's get to work and do this. Now, at least for the start while I'm doing this, I want to talk to you about my plans for the future. And I'll try very hard not to bore you to tears. Ah, oh, <laughs> there goes another slime. <laughs> I seriously could watch that all day. But enough. Now, I do want to pop over next time and build a boat. Not a ship this time, an actual boat. I've got it all planned and designed. It's not your typical little boat. But, you know, hopefully it's interesting enough. And... When we've done the boat, 
Remember we've got the little um, docking platforms up here. You can probably guess what they're for. I want to build a couple of airships. Because if the villagers have opened this for business and they've got their own trading vessel, we're going to get trading vessels coming here in return. Which is good because that's really the point of it, isn't it? If you want to open yourself up to the world and trade your goods, you've got to expect them to come back. And actually you want them to come back. And after that, we've got... I might just pop some in, see what I think. After that, there's some villages that I really want to do a makeover on. So we'll have a couple of village makeovers. And I want to get back up to uh, the creeper farm because I had a really good suggestion for that from Handy Smurf. And I've been thinking about it ever since. And I really want to get on with it and do that. So thank you, Handy, for the really good idea. I'll pop one there and one there. And then... Uh, you're going to make it difficult, aren't you? We'll sort it out. And then we're going to do something a bit different. Because when I've done all that, and that... Oh, we're up to what? This is what? Episode... 67 I think yeah I think this is 67 so that'll probably take us up to oh close to 90 yeah will I get 20 episodes out of that well between those things and me faffing about and thinking of different ideas and changing my mind And things not working. And things in real life interfering. Because let's face it, that often happens. <laughs> With all that, that should take us up to a, uh, close to episode 90. And then, I want to get rid of these. We're going to take off into the wild blue yonder. I'm going to take a leaf out of... The books of B00, Good Times with Scar, Wells Night, and we are going to start a whole new area. Now, if that idea fills you with dread and you think it's shockingly awful and you don't want me to do it, please tell me. But please also, regardless of whether you like that idea or don't like that idea, if there's anything... Oh, have I run out? Almost. If there's anything that you want to see me do or you want to see me make, and I've had a couple of suggestions, and I am going to do them. We've had a suggestion for a church, which I reckon we can do in one of our village makeovers, and a suggestion for a castle. And that's definitely on the cards for the whole new area. Castle wouldn't really suit here. No, they're definitely going to get done. But if there's something that you'd particularly like or that you particularly don't like, let me know. No guarantees I'll actually do them or not do them. But there is a cast iron guarantee that I will read your comments and give them serious, serious consideration. So uh, it's going to be sunset soon. This is a bit close to roofed forest to do anything too brave or foolhardy. But anyway, they're my plans. And I planned them. And I'm not going to change them for anyone. Well, that's not true. I will change them. All done right the way across. It's possibly a little busy. I might remove every second one. I don't know. Because in the end, I decided that I would make the, the path um, spawn-proof. So I've staggered them. So if you have a look 
eight's about as low as we go but I'm not sure what I think of the look so I think we might jump off and have a bit of a fly and look that way there we go nearly misfired it doesn't look too bad from the air but it doesn't look too great from the ground so I don't know I am really not sure. There we go. As I said, not too bad from the air. Not too great from the ground. Uh, see, down here, I think that's a nicer spacing. So I might take out every second one. It'll mean that the road isn't spawn proof, but it'll look a lot less busy. Hmm. We'll give it a try. I'll take them out. We'll see what we think. That took a little longer than I anticipated. <laughs> I basically shifted every light on that side of the path and removed every second one on this side. Oh, and I removed a lot over there too. I think that looks a lot better, but we'll see it from the air again, just to be sure. There we go. Yeah, I think that looks a lot nicer. Now I know there's not much lighting here. It's the path that goes through to the villages. I still have to work out what to do with that. But, I think that's an improvement. Up we come. It's a lot less busy, isn't it? Yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay, I still have to work out what I'm going to do about the path from there. To there but um no I'm happy the road is now lit all the way from there up to there love long render distances anyway I know this is a short episode I'm sorry about that but oh that ship took such a long time and I'm getting stuff together and planning for something else and I really want time to do that and it is school holidays so I'm squeezing these in where I can so sorry guys but one short episode will really help me out hopefully that's okay with you if it is please hit the like button subscribe if you haven't hit the notification bell and I'll see you next time bye